Hi, my name is Janice Ni. Nee. I'm an assistant professor at the Asian School of the Environment, College of Science, Nanyang Technological University of Singapore. I represent Singapore in the ASEAN US Science Prize for Women 2018. Agriculture plays an important role in Southeast Asia. It contributes both to food security and also to the livelihoods of millions of smallholder farmers in Southeast Asia. However, it's also a major driver of land use change. And this is an issue because Southeast Asia is home to unique ecosystems that house a diversity of flora and fauna species. One example of rapid agricultural land use change is oil palm expansion, especially in the countries of Indonesia and Malaysia. The oil palm is one of the most efficient oil crops in the world. Its high productivity, competitive price and versatile use has driven its expansion all across the tropics. While oil palm expansion has brought about economic growth and development in the region, it has also brought about many environmental problems as well as social issues. My research is focused on the socio-ecological impacts of oil palm expansion, especially in Southeast Asia, and also evaluating the effectiveness of land use policies in mitigating the negative impacts of oil palm expansion. I use remote sensing tools and spatial analysis to create historical and current land cover maps of oil palm plantations in Southeast Asia. These maps allow us to understand whether oil palm plantations have occurred over rainforests in Southeast Asia. I apply statistical models to be able to understand the location of these oil palm plantations in relation to other variables such as biophysical or socioeconomic variables. These models allow us to be able to predict where future oil palm plantations are likely to occur. So understanding past and future trends of oil palm expansion is highly useful as it allows us to evaluate whether future expansion will occur over sensitive ecosystems such as tropical rainforests or it will lead to land conflicts with local communities. This knowledge can then be used to inform and develop land use policies which allow us to mitigate the negative impacts of future oil palm expansion. So for my future research, I'm interested in the use of drones to map land cover change in smallholder oil palm plantations and also tap into the use of blockchain technology, which can be a useful way for developing traceability within the smallholder oil palm plantations in Indonesia and across the global supply chains. To create a sustainable future for ASEAN, we need to tap into innovations in technology and utilize these technological innovations in a thoughtful and ethical manner. To do so, we need interdisciplinary research and collaborations across many different stakeholders, from farmers, non-governmental organizations, as well as state officials, to be able to develop, co-design our research projects such that we will be able to tackle the most pertinent challenges and most pertinent questions in Southeast Asia.